It was probably about two years ago when my wife and I had the opportunity to see Santana live in concert. It was amazing. What a high energy show. Everybody was dancing. Well, at least as well as they could in the confined space. So you can imagine how excited I was when I found out that Carlos Santana has a line of Bluetooth speakers fine-tuned by the man himself. They had to be good. This is the Santana Ligero. I don't have any specifications for this device, but I know that it's 10 watts, and I think there are dual 5-watt, 2-inch drivers and dual passive radiators. The Ligero is designed to sit flat on a surface or be carried with this included shoulder strap by these rings. Controls are fairly standard with the black on black design that's so user friendly. A 4000 milliamp hour battery provides up to 20 hours of playback. Normally those measurements are done at 50% volume, but in this case that's okay because for the best experience, I think you want to keep this at 45% volume or less. It just gets distorted too easily. You're not going to get much bass out of the speaker and treble is not at strong point either. This is mostly a mid-range speaker. If RGB lighting is important to you, well, what you see is what you get. What we have is a lit power and TWS button and then we have this uh, world's worst flashlight. I don't know what this is here for. For ports, we have USB-C for power. We have a USB U-Drive port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, and your TF card slot. Construction of the speaker is fine. The seams are tight. I don't see any obvious gaps or flaws. My main concern is this Santana badge it, the corners pop up and I feel like it's just going to catch on something and fall off. And if that happens, who can even tell this would be a Santana speaker? The Ligero does support hands-free calling, but it is an awful experience for both the caller and the receiver. It does claim to be IPX5 waterproof, which is kind of a misnomer. It really is splash-proof, light rain-proof, spill-proof, but you do not want to submerse the speaker. The Ligero does support TWS mode, true wireless stereo, where you can wirelessly link two of these speakers together to get a left and right channel experience, but I didn't like one of these speakers. I definitely don't want to buy two. The Santana Ligero is not the worst speaker I have ever heard in my life, but I definitely wouldn't put my name on it. I'll give this a two out of five stars. This is the Santana Fuerza, and what is going on with these lights? This flashlight is so bright and you cannot turn it off. This is the dominant feature of the speaker, and that's too bad. I don't mind a good RGB display, but I'm not a big fan of this implementation. There are different light modes, but this is the best one. I do not have full specifications for the Fuerza, but I think we have dual 10 watt, three inch speakers along with dual passive radiators. This speaker is meant to be laid flat like this, or you can carry it with the handle. This speaker has an 8,000 milliamp hour battery, and that will give you 24 hours of playback. Now those measurements are normally done at 50% volume. You probably won't get that much because this speaker doesn't get distortion until after about 80% volume. Controls are Bluetooth standard. The one less common control is this light mode function that just determines the pattern that your RGB lighting displays. Not that uncommon, but it's not on every speaker. The ports are covered by a rubber plug. That can often mean that the speaker is waterproof. However, this is IPX5 waterproof, which mainly means splash proof, spill proof, light rain proof, but do not submerge the speaker. Beneath the rubber plug, we have the USB U-Drive port, the TF card slot, the USB-C charging port, and the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. And if you care about hands-free calling, this actually provides a pretty decent experience. I was told that I sounded almost as good as just using my phone by itself. 
I do have some concerns about construction quality. I don't know if you can see this, but there's kind of a bulge here and there is a flaw in the stitching up here. And look how this fits together. Not that great. If there's kind of a gap in the, the handle there. It's not on this side. So there's maybe this one is just a, an exception, but I don't like to see this kind of quality. I cannot believe that this light is supposed to be this bright. It shouldn't, this, I don't even know what this is for. Also, this Santana badge does have corners that kind of pop up. I'm concerned that this is going to catch on something and fall off, and then you lose your signature Santana appeal. One piece of advice that I would like to offer is that when I first listened to this speaker, it sounded awful. I think it needed some breaking in time because right before I did this review, I reevaluated it and the bass was much better. I did not get the harsh tones and the trouble anymore. So it just, it feels like it needed some breaking in. Again, I don't know if it's just this speaker that's like that or the entire line, but um, yeah, I experienced it, so I'm passing it on to you. It's kind of a hidden feature, but this speaker does support TWS mode, true wireless stereo. If you happen to have two of these speakers, you can link them together wirelessly for a left and right channel experience. Um, I, and there's no reason not to. This speaker sounds decent enough that you might consider getting a pair of them. When evaluating this speaker, you really have to consider the cost. It is fairly inexpensive and it sounds pretty decent. I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. Um, just, this light just kills me. I looked at the manual for both the Ligero and the Fuerza, and they both tell you to use a one milliamp charger, which they do not provide. I just wanted to caution you because so many of us have fast chargers now. Do not use that for your speakers. Santana has a few more miles on him now. This is an old picture. Thanks for stopping by.